As the speed of their vehicles crosses a certain threshold, citizens become transportation consumers. More energy fed into the transportation system means that more people move faster over a greater range in the course of every day. Everybody's daily radius expands at the expense of being able to drop in an acquaintance or walk through the park on the way to work. Okay, we don't have time to make it epic. This is a society that values above all else speed. It worships speed in a mecca for racing. It sacrifices land, liberty, lives for speed. As a result, though, no one is getting anywhere faster than before, less those without a prayer mat. One here asks, why build a bus lane? It just makes the road smaller for us. That money could be better used on a freeway rework. It is unfair. Not sure if this falls under fair use, but the FBI didn't crash the party yet. The point is speed is a queen rather than a king here. Speed rather than a self-destructive habit is harnessed and transformed into a tool for the advancement of society. One takes the metro, the tram, their bicycle, a mode which Illich was quite fond of for its fundamental equality. Even the Lyonnais who take their cars are limited appropriately, for their privilege is an infringement on the liberties of others. One here asks, why widen the autoroute? It only benefits those who have cars. What about the rest of us? That money could be better used on buses. It is unfair. Both of these cities are around 2 million people, dwarfed by the economic centers of Chicago and Paris, respectively. Both are two and a half hours from Indianapolis and Lyon. But for one, it's four hours of complete attention and a depreciating asset that drains money from an individual as a leech does blood. For the other, it's four hours of comfort, safety, and greater convenience. So here are two forms of speed, one that is fought for arrogantly as though it is all that matters, that destroys the very society one believes it builds, and another harness power which ties together a nation more cost-effectively, safely, and sustainably.